Hello world, Patricia O'Connor here and Frida Reba Dorsey and what you see before you in part two, which is going to be a uh, shorter than our other short, uh, repotting this Japanese pipeline. You see the finished work of my uh, repotting this little Japanese black pond. We had gotten about this far along when uh, 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 a knock came at the door. Who was it, Pat? Was it the bonsai police? It was. It was the bonsai police, and they were telling me to knock off the cutting of the needles. Uh, no, it was a neighbor who... Uh, needed who needed uh car help uh, car help help car and uh the solution w we think was uh to jump the battery that was that was the, the the problem with car help and i think the answer was um what is jump the battery so that has got us now with even less battery of our own in this little camera, but that's okay. We hurried ourselves right along and we put this little tree in this terracotta pot. What you didn't see was that it had roots aside from the little plastic pot that it was in that was about that deep. It had long, long roots. So that cube is still hanging out upside and then we've got roots all the way down to the bottom so that is great root development and we are going to have quite a bit of exposed roots on this guy and uh that is how that came out looking and then as promised i put its little cubes uh, i put its little food that it was having also we saw mycorrhiza it was good it was a good to see the mycorrhiza uh in that in that substrate so i reused some of that most all of that i had micro i had substrate standing by i used part of that but i used a good bit of the old stuff too because it already uh it wasn't nearly broken down it was just a couple of about a month a couple of months old at most and um they already already had a good and symbiotic relationship going there. I hated I hated to uh, oh no the band there. So that's kind of what happened there. We got this guy repotted. We had a uh, knock at the door. We uh, I think we were a good neighbor about it. I think we were we were helpful. And uh, then we came back. Uh, we came back and look at that tree. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to try this, see how we do. Whoa! Whoa, Pat, whoa. There we go. That was worth the price of admission. That's what I wanted to show you. That guy, you can already see it's beginning to swell up in there amongst it, uh, the wires that we put on it. And that is just a little baby tree, too. And look how much it's just, uh, just busting out with everything. It was high time this this little tree got itself a uh, more forever home, so to speak. So yeah, that's us. This is going to be uh, pretty short. We will do more of these. Uh, we'll do more of the. My work schedule has changed, which is going to make the midweek shoots easier. I don't have to shoot. Uh, I don't have to shoot the weekends and then shoot something for the midweek during the weekends too. I will have time to do all. It was always time to do all. But um, again, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you guys have not already. We will continue. I think I've got one or two more that I can repot tonight. Uh, I will also uh, put 10 little uh, pine trees beans in to soak so that we can start our next round of those and also uh, I had one more straggler pop up out on the balcony today bringing uh, bringing our pine tree count from the last round up to now 12 12 we're going to be able to bring in 
And then tonight I'm going to uh, put in the soaker 10 more. So that uh, that is going to be interesting in itself. I really like the looks of that little tree. Look at that. You know, isn't that a cool, isn't that a cool looking little tree? All right. Thank you so much for watching. And, and this makes up for the uh, first video I did today being, being so long on the cypress trees. These are a pair of shorts. I hope you enjoy them. And uh, like I said, thank you so much for watching.